give me a Henson, hell yeah! This is the main event that gave us all nightmares and weird sexual fetishes in the best possible way. We're of course talking about the movie The Dark Crystal. <laughs> What I love about Henson movies in the 80s was how little fuck they gave. It's like, I gave you Sesame Street, suck my dick. This is a movie about adults realizing that their reckless youth is dissolving before their very eyes. Okay, I guess this is a movie about two dueling races, the Skeksis and the Mystics. And for those of you that haven't seen it in a while, the Skeksis kind of look like Angelica Houston before she was forever changed by the power of dance. Do you guys remember Captain EO? It was at Disneyland, and then it went away, and then it came back, and now it's some Star Wars bullshit. The Skeksis have been abusing this object called the Dark Crystal to like be youthful and like live longer and all that other shit that villains do. Fire! Then this elf motherfucker Jen is the chosen one who has to like take it back and do good shit or some shit. Oh, the plot gets kind of convoluted. There are a lot of big ideas, and most of them involved googly eyes and puppets. Puppet movies are where it's at. They'll never die. <laughs> also, this movie, I don't think there was uh, really any notes. I think that they just got a big bag of money and were like, go, be real, and they took that as taking acid, and so they did. I get a contact tie just by looking at the VHS cover of this movie. Why do you watch this movie? Because as I said, it's a Henson classic and a childhood classic. It's one of those movies that you see when you're really young and you don't think that it's really affected you until you get into a future therapy session and it comes up and you realize you've had like PTSD from it. Like, damn, it was made for kids, but it was not made for kids. What? Anyways, talk about it now. That's for my therapist. Hey, Karen, <laughs> how you doing? I probably owe you a check. Weird. Who do you watch this movie with? A group of your friends that you haven't seen in literally 10 years. F reunions, pop this bad boy in and go from laughing about Trevor's shitty sideburns to slowly realizing that you should have never seen this movie during your formative years. Got, got, got a lot of beaks in it, that's all I'll say. What do I mean by that? I don't know. Write a blog about it. Now there's the great chef. Treats do you make for this? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're making a dark crystal be be beverage. They're gummies that are crystals, you'll see. Yeah. I really love this snack because it combines my favorite thing as a millennial, LaCroix, with um, my other favorite thing from my childhood, um, uh, gelatin, ULQ is um, I'm, I'm gonna determine a European offshoot of the gelatin that you may be familiar with. I did purple as a flavor. You could do whatever color flavor you like because you're gonna be combining it with edible glitter. Um, that's very important that it's edible glitter. Um, don't think that you've life hacked this by going to your local Michaels um, because you will die and we don't want that. We wanted to make it as like crystally as possible and we were fortunate to find this uh, little ice cube tray where you could pour in and it forms into these little crystal segments. Pour it in there and then you let it set and then meanwhile you make your little cocktail or mocktail or, or whatever you're doing today, whatever's feeling right. Put it on top and stir it around. And I think that all your guests will just be like, whoa, Denise, where the hell did you get this idea? And you're like, I'll never tell. And then they look at your internet browsing history and they see me. Hi, gets you in the mood. And if you put booze in it, it'll really get you in the mood. So choose your lane, as I say. Skeksis rule. Four words to describe this movie. Trippy, 80s, confusing plot. I'm still, I've seen this movie so many times and each time I'm like, Oh, that's what it's about? Like, it just feels like it's a lot, it's a lot of ideas. Here at F***ed Up Film Club, we've got our finger on the pulse of future F***ed Up films, and our candidate this week is Animal Cracker. This film is F***ed Up because I've watched the trailer literally seven times and I still couldn't tell you what it's about. Ah! <sighs> Moving on. 
Thanks for watching Fucked Up Film Club. Make sure that you subscribe to Snarled wherever sees fit and comment below with how this movie you up. I want to know. I feel like we could compare notes, figure things out, and my therapist, Karen, will be very happy. See you next time. Bye.